Hey guys, we're doing a quick video today and I'm going to show you how to replace your rear brake caliper on your Yamaha Warrior. This is a 1999 Yamaha Warrior and this is a Chinese brake caliper replacement that I got for 25 bucks off of Amazon. So let's see if it works. I think it was 25 shipped total. box all right so we got uh matey stable power sports maker another box so let's see what we got I'm hoping these are some high quality parts so let's see what we got Bubble wrap. This is a complete caliper that comes with pads. It actually doesn't look half bad. It comes with a new banjo bolt and a bleeder. Doesn't look too bad, guys. So let's get set up and uh, see if this thing will bolt on. Alright, guys. First things I'm going to be doing is... Uh, so, this is literally the way that I bought the four-wheeler. The... Uh, brake caliper which is zip tied to the rear axle just like that and I don't know if you guys can see but somebody literally rode the brake pads until the brake pads were gone and it literally used the caliper itself as brake pads so this this caliper's junk so we're gonna have to go ahead and undo that banjo bolt and undo these mounts right here and we'll see if it bolts on and then we'll get to bleeding it so let me get the wrench all right guys I got my 12 millimeter socket I'm going to go ahead and just loosen that guy up. Probably going to leak fluid everywhere, but that's fine. I have to bleed it anyway, so don't care. And then I like to just take the banjo bolt, put that back in there and save that. Save that guy. Just like so. And then we're going to go ahead and get these mounts out those are allen wrenches those look like six millimeter allen wrenches so i'm gonna go ahead and grab those all right guys got my six millimeter allen wrench and we're gonna holy shit who tightened those jesus ah damn this is not the good style allen wrench for this Oh, damn. I don't know who tightened that on there, but <laughs> she was, uh, she was tight. Alright. Go ahead and take, take your Allen head bolts. Alright, now it's the moment of truth. I'm going to take our new caliper. We're going to figure out probably like this. I'm not sure if we're gonna have to compress this piston or not. Doesn't look like like it we're going to. So you're gonna separate your pads. Slide that guy over like that. Hopefully the threads are the same. They would hopefully have thought of that. Oh yes. Nice guys. So we're just just gonna tighten that guy on. Just like that. Line's gonna reach. All right, cool. Tighten those caliper mounts up. Just like that. This Allen wrench, man, is just not working for this. Make sure you got those guys nice and tight. Just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and take off our banjo bolt. 12 millimeter banjo bolt off the new caliper. Come on. Pop 
that guy out. Ooh. All right, so you're gonna have two washers on your banjo bolt. One goes on the inside of the line, just like this. And one goes on the outside of the line, just like that. Get that out of the way. And you can go ahead and thread your banjo bolt back in. Tighten that guy up, just like that. All right, now we gotta get on to bleeding. Now you're gonna wanna open up your uh, rear brake reservoir. It's located right here on the left side of the quad. Pop that guy up. Oh boy, she hasn't been opened in a while. That fluid looks really good. And it's actually, and it's a little low. So we're gonna top that guy off with fluid real quick. And then we're gonna start bleeding the brakes from the rear. So you're gonna take your eight millimeter and put it on your bleeder, just like that. Make sure it's a six point. I would recommend so you don't strip it out. And then I'm gonna pump the pedal, the foot brake, and then I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna bleed the air out of it. I'm gonna do it three times. And I'm gonna hold it down while I'm holding it down, crack the bleeder. Tighten it up. Crack it, just like that. <laughs> so you just get fluid. All right, guys, and that's your uh, real quick tutorial on how to uh, replace your rear brake caliper on your uh, 1998 Yamaha Warrior. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, and as you can see, it's pretty cheap. So, like, comment, subscribe. And wait till you see the next video.